Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that currently the cognizant technical assessments are ongoing. But with that, since this is an on-campus hiring, so interviews are also taking place one day after exam only. So in this particular video, I will be discussing two interview experiences of the candidates who have recently given their on-campus cognizant interview for the Gen C profile. So guys, make sure to watch this video till the end because each and every question that I'll be discussing in the interview experiences will be helpful for you. And also I will be discussing about the resources which you can refer for your preparation for interview. Okay. So make sure to watch this video till the end. And guys, on our YouTube channel, we have a dedicated playlist for cognizant preparation. So if you are giving the technical assessment or you are giving the interviews, all the things, free video you can find under this particular playlist the link of this playlist I will give you in the I button or in the description box make sure to watch each and every video okay so guys now let's start the video before starting the video make sure to hit that like and subscribe button because every like and subscribe will motivate me for making more such videos if you have any doubts you can write in the comment section or you can join this telegram group it's dedicated for 226 batch students lot of students are discussing various various highs that are going on going on on campus all the relevant links I will give you in the description box let's start this video okay so first discussing the experience of first candidate so first candidate was solved half coding question Okay, out of two half coding questions he solved, two SQL questions he solved, and HTML and CSS part he solved, but JavaScript part he was not able to solve. So this was the entire uh, his uh, assessment details that how many questions he solved. And just after one day only, he got the mail from the college that he has been shortlisted for the Gen C role. Okay, so many of you were asking me for the cutoff. So see. I, I will for every interface that I'll be discussing I will also be discussing that what all things he solved in the assessment okay so after solving these kind of things he was called for the Gen C interview now coming to the interview part so first question will be in first question that was asked from him was introduce yourself now guys see in any company whether it is cap Gemini Accenture Cognizant the first question will be introduce yourself how you can tell the answer you can tell by <coughs> by saying that uh, you can include your education details, your extracurricular activities, your projects, your internships, any uh, uh, achievements you have, your technical skills, all these things you can include in your introduction. Okay, around one minute introduction is fine. Okay, I hope it's clear to you. Next is explain your project in detail. So again guys, see, whenever you are going to the interview, now there is one myth that if you are from cluster 1, cluster 2 or cluster 3, the interview will be based on those cluster only. No. The uh, interviewer can ask anything from your resume, from his experience, anything he can ask you as at a fresher level. So next important thing in your resume is the project description. Now guys see, since you are giving the interviews for technical company, tech companies, so try to mention at least two projects. I am not saying that projects should be very good, but try to mention at least two technical projects which you are able to explain in detail to the interviewer. Okay. Next is two coding questions. Now see, this is a Gen C interview, but still two coding questions have been asked here so first was char character occurrence so let's suppose a b c d so how many times a is coming how many times b is coming how many times c is coming this was the first question next question was find duplicates so if you are given one double two three four so how many numbers are getting duplicated here so answer is this two number is getting duplicated here so this was the coding question okay next is explain all the four pillars of oops okay that were asked so four pillars of oops what are they inheritance polymorphism okay encapsulation and abstraction so each and every pillar it's very commonly asked question if you will see previous year interview experiences also you will see that this question is very much important you should know everything in detail about the four pillars of oops there are different types of inheritance there are different types of polymorphism each and everything you should know okay i hope this question is also clear to you next is inheritance example discussion vehicle car airplane see every oops concept can come with the code example for uh, for uh, once you are preparing for any of these uh, what I will say pillars of hoops try to uh, try to take one example code wise try to learn one example code wise so that you are better able to understand to the interviewer okay I hope this question is also clear to you next is what is the what is the significance of static keyword so again it is one of the oops question only so static keyword we can use with the function we can use with the variables and those uh, functions or variables belong to the class rather than to the object Okay, this is one of the things. Now guys, see, you will be saying that these are random questions. So how once if we are preparing for interviews, how we should prepare for the interviews? So guys, for this purpose only, 
on our top mid page of code bashers like like we had the cognizant preparation material we similarly had the important interview it subject notes in these particular notes you will find each and every subjects commonly asked questions which are getting asked in the interviews so whether you, uh, the whether you are choosing the c++ language whether java language python oops questions dbms most asked questions sql important queries that are getting asked in the interviews coding questions which are getting asked in the interviews operating system networking machine learning cloud computing so all the tech subjects which gets asked in the interviews for any company not only cognizant are mentioned here for each and every subject that is mentioned here we have given you 20 to 25 important interview questions and their answers how you have to explain in the interview so you can see here till now 2 to 4 one people have bought it and the rating is also very good 4.2 out of 5 for these notes so if i will show you let's suppose the java interview questions pdf so you will see we have the proper question and we have the proper answer for it okay similarly for each and every subject we have around 20 to 25 important questions which you should prepare for the interview and these questions will be very much beneficial for the last minute preparation so again we have the proper question and we have the proper answer for it we have not just given the questions we are having an explanation of each and every question so that you can explain in the interview very well okay similarly in the dbms pdf also you can see that we have the proper questions we have the proper answer for it how you have to explain in the interview similarly for each and every subject that is mentioned here we have around 20 to 25 important questions with their answers for each and every subject okay so if you think that these notes can help you the links are in the description box and also there is a 10 percent discount on first 100 people so the coupon code also is in the description box do check them out and the rating is also very good for these particular notes so now let's continue with the video so next is what is sql and why we use sql so sql is basically a query language we we store data in tables and we can query that data so that is why we are using sql next is all types of joins so there is inner join there is outer join there is left outer join right outer join okay <clears throat> okay next is what is exception handling so exception handling if you know we use try catch exceptions try in in which we can write the code in which exception can occur next is the catch block if any exception occurs we can catch that exception and do the logic separately okay next is what is the difference between final finally and finalize so guys this question this question is from java and it is a very commonly asked question in the interview final keyword is can be used with the method with the class with the variable finally is the finally block in the exception handling only we have try block catch block and similarly the finally block also we have okay so this is what it is and finally is used for the uh, garbage collection next is basic cloud questions why we use cloud but do you know about amazon aws so why we use cloud because it's uh, it's very reliable and it's store uh, it saves us lot of infrastructure cost earlier the all the servers were on-prem but now we are using cloud and it's highly cost effective for companies okay next is how much flexible are you for relocation and night shift it, this answer depends on you so i according to me you should always say yes for relocation and also say yes for night shift it will again depend which project projects you take in the <coughs> company okay so which department you would like to work if you join cognizant so again this is a this is your wish you, you can say, say any department names okay so these were this was the interview experience of the first candidate okay and guys i can tell you that the questions that have been asked in this particular interview around 70 to 80 percent questions are already there in these notes okay because interview questions do repeat there are limited set of interview questions only so for last minute preparation you can definitely consider these notes okay so i'm just saying that so around 80 percent questions that have been asked here you can already find them in the notes also okay next is the second candidate so second candidate also solved two sql questions one entire web-based question okay mcqs few are some mcqs were correct and i solved one with only few test cases so you can say one by two again half half of the coding question he solved so in the first first also first candidate experience also similar similar cutoff was there and in this also similar cutoff was there this is for the gen c role okay i hope this is clear to you now let's see his interview experience so it was a virtual interview with code spaces we need to write code and run it so again in the first interview experience also two coding questions were asked in the interview and in this particular interview also coding question was asked so don't think that only the co coding question can be asked in the assessment or only but it can be asked in the interviews also he asked questions about oops because it's very important subject again four pillars of oops is an important question okay see pillars of oops again this question got repeated in this interview also so it's very important four pillars which it should be on your tips with the help of code examples okay next is coding question is find the second highest element in the array 
next our self introduction as i told you in the first interview that self introduction will be asked in for you in any in every company is relocation okay some general questions like another technologies like in the first interview cloud was asked so here ml some like just on the surface level ml or cloud can be asked from you okay next is some sql basic so see again if i compare first and second interview experience these are probably two different candidates of two different states so you can see that there have been lot of common questions if i will tell you the pattern what they are asking self intro oops concept very important any language you can pick up c++ java python any language you can pick up and learn the oops concept for it okay so you can tell the interviewer i prefer this language okay but uh, try to prefer any java and python okay okay next is coding question so again basic coding questions but around two coding questions are getting asked regarding array and string this is the pattern that we are seeing I uh, more and more interview experiences I will keep on bringing in the coming videos you can always write in the comment section if you have any doubts or something okay next uh, yeah so, and sql basics so in the first uh, interview also joins were asked okay joins were asked and basic sql queries can also be asked from you okay so i hope the pattern these these both were for the gen c role i hope the pattern is clear to you okay and again i am telling you for the last minute preparation if you have only one to three days left the best way to prepare is by these notes okay and if you if first 100 people i have told you will get 10% discount the coupon code you can get in the description box all the subjects important interview questions with their answers are mentioned here whether java oops python oops dbms or sql so everything is mentioned in these notes okay so if you think that these notes can help you the links are in the description box with the coupon code first 100 people will get 10% off so this was all for this video if you want me to make more such videos and come up with interview experiences of different different companies you can always write in the comment section i will be happy to make these videos thank you for watching this video